Senorita from Del Bonita, way down on the Milk River Ridge. She fell for a cowboy, a renegade plowboy who just drifted in from Lethbridge. He was a young bull rider with stars in his eyes. Same stars were shining in hers. Sometimes stars collide in the blink of an eye. For better or for worse The night before at the rodeo dance They twisted and two-stepped till dawn Held each other tight under the moonlight Fell under a spell called love Young bull rider, he looked in her eyes, said, darling, will you be mine? Senorita from Del Bonita replied, my darling, till the end of time. Sunday afternoon down at the grounds In the crowds and the dust and the heat the Young bull rider prepared for the finals He'd drawn the best bull of the week the Young bull rider, he looked in her eyes Said, darling, will you be mine? The senorita from Del Bonita replied My darling, till the end of time background on the young lovers. You see, our young bull rider, he'd been touring around the countryside for a couple of years, Western Canada and the United States of America. Hang Mexico maybe once or twice. Anyway, he'd been winning quite a few bull riding contests at the rodeos. Because he was a hell of a bull rider and he also rode several other things on a regular basis, mainly small time cowgirls small-town cowgirls, and small-time cowgirls, a few big-time cowgirls, too, but we won't mention their names. And got into all sorts of trouble, but managed to always slip and slide his way out of it, but he had a fondness for cards and whiskey and several other substances which aren't legal in all parts of the world, which I just won't name at this particular time. Anyway, been blowing his money, winning his money and blowing his money around Western North America. But he'd also been sticking a little bit away in a sock that he kept tucked in the back of the horse trailer somewhere. And anyway, our young uh, our young lady, uh, the Senorita from Del Benita, well, she was, uh, she also had a fondness for partying and a particular fondness for truck drivers and as it so happened, she worked at a truck stop along the highway down in Southern Alberta. And she liked to party a lot too, but she'd also been sticking away a few bucks here and there. And as it so happened, these two young lovers who had fallen so hard, so fast, and so deep into love had also been nursing a little dream deep down in their hearts. And that was involved a little house in the country, some cows, and some kids, and all that. And as it so happened, there was a quarter section of land coming up for sale, just came up for sale down on the Milk River Ridge there prettiest parts of the world and the savings between the two of them was just about six or seven thousand dollars shy of the down payment but first prize on the bull riding on Sunday afternoon and he was in the finals and first prize was twelve thousand dollars with that twelve thousand dollars that would be enough for the down payment on the land buy a few cows rent a bull and maybe even have a little bit left over for a honeymoon 
So he was eight seconds away from them realizing their dreams, or beginning the start of this new dream. So Sunday afternoon rolls around and he's in the chute, he climbs on the bull and he knows what he's got to do and there's no way in hell, even though this bull hasn't been ridden all season, there's no way in hell he's letting go of that thing until he hears that horn. The chute opens, and he rides that bull, and that bull doesn't know what's on his back, but he can't shake it off. Eight seconds go by, the horn sounds, and the young bull rider realizes, my god, I've done it. Our dream starts now, and he thinks to himself, what a glorious moment. And it's right about that same time that that bull underneath him senses it. This thing on his back that he couldn't shake off is suddenly out joyriding on top of him, so it doesn't take much at this point. He throws him off over the top. The young bull rider does a one and a half and comes down chest first, right on top of one of those old horns, those big old horns. Smashes straight through his rib cage, straight into his heart. Bull shakes him off, and now he's lying in the dirt with a what a two-inch hose of blood pouring out of him as fast as his heart will pump it. So he's now got all of about eight seconds left to live. In those last few seconds, he looks up, looks around the stands, and finds his sweetheart there. Young bull rider, he looked in her eyes. Said, darling, will you be mine? Senorita from Del Bonita replied, My darling, till the end of 